Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sam Blaster 1987 here with part one of my two part look at RID 2001 Megatron, otherwise known as Gigatron from the Car Robots anime of 2000, the Japanese release of the RID 2001 series. As you can see here, Megatron is a, yeah, mostly black and purple robot with red and gold accents and, yeah, a very interesting looking design with massive Batman like wings on his back. This mold was also used for Deathsaurus or Desarus in the BotCon 2001 Descent into Evil box set with a new head to get rid of the, yeah, bad gargoyle mode tooling. As you can see here, he's got a, yeah, double lance spear weapon thing. These are also missile launchers with these red orbs in the middle here being the trigger. Like so. Now, this is part one of a two-part review, because Megatron here has ten modes, well, six technically, Galvatron has four additional modes, but I'll only be covering the first three today, because I need to do more research on the other three modes. So, this half of Megatron's review will focus on the robot, gargoyle slash bat monster, and two-headed dragon transformations. Starting in robot mode, the articulation. There's a 360 degree neck swivel with the, yeah, head wings interfering. The, yeah, shoulder pieces here can hinge up and down to get out of the way of transformation. 360 degree ratchets on the shoulders plus hour movement. Bicep swivel. 90 degree ratchet of the, yeah, elbow. Wrist swivel. Nothing of a waste due to transformation, but universal ratcheted hips, thigh swivel, double jointed ratchet of the knee and shin because of the way the shin plane transforms in some of the modes, ball jointed ankles, and also because they become a two headed dragon hands, the feet can also clamp onto surfaces like so. There are also multiple joints and the wings on the backpack due to the way that they transform into the dragster and hydrofoil modes. And the wings can fold and unfold like a bird's wing, like the spring loaded wings on Animorphs Tobias' Hawk mode, for example. For size comparison in robot mode, here is Megatron with Studio Series 86 Voyager Scourge. He yeah, has very similar bat-like wings in his robot mode. So, to transform Megatron into the, yeah, bat gargoyle mode, first, take this weapon out of his hands, like so. Then, open up the chest plate, like so. Whoops. The, yeah, backpack piece does tend to pop off its ball joint, so watch out for that. Then reach underneath here and flip out the muzzle piece that goes over the face, like so. Clear the chest plate back in position. Then with the, yeah, arms, hold the bicep swivel still and rotate it the other way, like so. to hide the hands, then flip down feet like so. Fold the shoulder pieces down. Same on both sides. Then, basically, ratchet the, yeah, robot legs up onto the backpack out of the way. Reattaching this piece if it falls off. Finally, attach the weapon.
weapons onto the backs of the wings, like so. And here we have our ID Megatron in his back gargoyle mode. This is normally one of his uh, lesser used modes, normally just for flapping around in midair and taunting Optimus Prime. For size comparison, here he is with uh, Studio Series 86 Scourge again. Now, from here, to transform Megatron into his two-headed dragon mode, first, open up the yeah, chest plate, flip the muzzle back in on itself, then fold back the head wings and slide the head down on a sliding rail mechanism, close up the chest plate, then, basically, turn the whole thing upside down, Lock this piece into position, rotate that on the diagonal axis, like so. Ratchet the, yeah, legs down like so. Rotate them around so that the feet point forward. Like so. Then, ratchet the robot legs forward like so. Rotate them around and open those up to become a dragon head. Open the mouths like so. Have the hands in slightly different positions so as to give a design more expression and personality. Then double hinge the wings upwards, like so. Using this peg hole here and this peg here to so connect them into position, like so. these little tiny ball jointed arms like so to be the dragon arms takes a bit of finagling to get these into position sometimes so bear with me like so and here we have Megatron's primary two-headed dragon mode. This is his uh, most used transformation in the show. For size comparison once more. Here he is with my previous review of Studio 86 Scourge. So, as you can see here, the two-headed dragon mode has the same level of articulation as uh, the robot mode, except the joints are in different places now because he's upside down. So now the dragon heads have uh, multiple swivels, hinges and ratchets everywhere, and the ball jointed neck on the dragon heads. The wings can still move in various different ways and fill and unfurl like so. These gold spikes here on the tips of the wings can also be opened or closed to your likening. And these can be angled on their uh, friction joint pegs like so. And now we're all on our dance that becomes dragon mode legs. So that more or less uh, concludes my first look at R.I.D. 2001 Megatron. Join me next time when I'll be reviewing the super best henshin edition, Kamen Rider O's, O's Driver, with the Puto Tira, Shaotan and Saigozo medals combo pack. Till then, till all, on one. I'll be reviewing part two of the Dragster, Jet, and Giant Hand Motor Megatron later on.